hello overseas welcome back to another video so guys i'm super excited for today's video because in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut and seal a cargo pants like what i currently have on me right now like i made these like i are you playing with me like this came out of my hands so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today if that sounds like something you're interested in do make sure to keep watching and let's get this video started so the material i'll be using will be my jean fabric i'll be using my zip and yeah thread at this point i was confused as to which thread i wanted to make use of but yeah, you're gonna be needing your threads so yeah for the fabric i'm making use of two trouser lengths not two yards two trouser lengths both for the um pants the bucket hat and the tooth bag so yeah, i'm going to start by drafting out my front pattern first so yeah the length of the trouser i intend making measures 43 inches in length but it's going to have a band that measures one and a half inches in width so once one and a half inches is taken away from the 43 inches it leaves us with 41 and a half inches so yeah, this was one and a half inches. I'm going to be adding one inch to hem the ends of the trouser and a half inch to join the trouser to the band, which in total goes back to being 43 inches. So I have my fabric right here on my workspace on my table, measuring for three inches in length, as you can see. The next thing now will be to go ahead and mark my crouch. So my hip measures 36 inches, 36 divided by four gives nine inches. But yeah, I wanted mine to be kind of high-waisted, so I added 2 inches to the 9 inches, which gave me 11 inches. I'm going to go ahead now to place my tape onto my fabric and mark out 11 inches. And I'll be ruling a straight line at that 11 inches mark. And now that that is done, so remember how that 6 inches divided by 4 was 9. I'm also going to go ahead now to mark it there to create my actual crotch. So 9 divided by 4 gives us kind of 2 and quarter, approximately 2 and half. I'm going to go ahead now to extend that by 2 and half, which gives me 11 and half right there. So I'm going to go ahead now to just draw a straight line at that crotch line, which was 9 inches, yeah? And I'll be going up by 2 inches because 2 inches above my crotch line have some of my hip line. I'll be connecting it like so, basically what you see me do to create the crotch. And I'll be coming down by one inch in the front and connecting it to the top of the fabric like so. Basically, what you see me do. So the next thing now will be to create the um, ankle or what that, that's what it's called, I guess. So yeah, if you want yours to be wider than mine, then you leave your streets like this. But for mine, I feel like it was too wide. So yeah, I made use of nine inches wide width at the bottom. That's 18 divided by two gives nine. Go ahead to connect it together like so and i'm going to go ahead now to cut these out so that's the front so now the next thing will be to work on my waistline Sorry, my waist measures 26 inches divided by four gives six and a half i'm going to go ahead now to place my tape onto my fabric and mark out six and a half we can see that i left half inches allowance you get me going out by two inches again to create my hip line i'll be connecting it to my waist measurement right there and i'm going to go ahead and cut it out and that's basically it for our front pattern the next thing now will be to go ahead and work on the back pattern so i have my fabric right here on my workspace for the back pattern I'm going to go ahead now to grab my front pattern and place it onto my back pattern like so. But then you can see that the back pattern is wider than the front pattern. So it should be wider by at least two and a half inches. So yeah, when I measure that um, part that I extended my crotch by was two and a half, I'm also going to be extending it outside to the back pattern by also two and a half inches. But I'll be coming down by half inch from that back crotch i hope you understand what i mean and i'm going to go ahead and add two half inches all around the front pattern two and a half inches to create the back pattern two and a half inches all around 
and to make this easy to join basically just move the front pattern so i use it as a guide to join the back pattern i hope that makes sense to join all those mark points then just make use of your chalk or whatever you're making use of to just join it together like so good so return your front pattern back to where it was before and also here yeah, for your back crotch it should be one and a half inches higher than the front crotch i'll also be extending the back waistline by one inch basically what you see me do go ahead to connect that one half inches you took upwards to the one inch extension we added good and you're gonna go ahead to connect it to your hip line and the next thing will be to create your back crotch so when creating your back crotch you ensure that it kind of intercepts your waistline of the front right there so just connect it together like so and that's basically it for our back pattern i'm going to go ahead and just cut this out so yeah voila and we are done cutting um the front and the back the next thing now will be to go ahead and insert our pocketings so yeah from the end result of my cargo pants or from the inspiration where i got the idea of the cargo pants from they had these um pockets that they fixed outwards i'm gonna insert a picture somewhere so yeah to the depth of the pants i'm working of the pocket sorry is measuring 13 inches and for the width it's measuring six inches i'll be measuring it later sure then the next thing will be to create an opening where our hands kind of fit into so i wanted the opening to be kind of seven inches deep and the width to be like two inches i'm going to go ahead now to connect it together like so so basically this is the shape of the pocket i want on my pants so you see we are measuring it i measure six inches right so I'm going to go ahead and to cut it out to be 7 inches wide. That's the fabric I'm making use of. And the depth measures 13, but I'll be cutting it out to measuring 14. Just so we have enough fabric to hem it so we have that neat finish. So I'm going to cut out a fabric that measures what? 14 inches by 7 inches. And I'll be cutting two pieces for both sides of the front. So after I was done cutting it, this is what we have here. 14 inches by seven inches and you can see that it's on the fold we're going to be separating it later so i'm just going to go ahead now to place my front pattern onto the fabric where you can see that we have our allowances that's for the pocketing now we have like allowances below our original mark point that we have so just cut the pocketing so that you follow the shape of the pant or trouser and i'm also going to go ahead to mark that opening where our hands gonna pass into the in pockets mark them like so and i'm going to go ahead and just connect it together so the next thing now will be to go ahead and just cut this out but when i'm cutting it you can see that i give like almost half of an inch from the marked line that's so i can be able to hem that area and also have a neat finish yeah so I'm going to go ahead now to just separate the pocketings in two, one for each side. And the next thing will be to place it onto the um, front part of our trouser. Good. So to make this easy, because we have to fold all those edges so that we have a neat finish. So yeah, to make this easy, I'm going to head over uh, to my work, um, ironing table and I'm going to go ahead now and iron all those points you see me folding right i'm going to go ahead and just iron them and also that opening where our hands are going to fit into just iron it down and i'll be weaving it also just so my work is kind of neat and it looks presentable you get me so after we're done weaving it and ironing it this is what i have you can see how it looks so neat the next thing will be to go ahead now and attach it to the trouser to the pants itself so place it like so and you can see it perfectly fits into the shape we marked as earlier the only alteration here was the opening where our hands kind of fit into but yeah it's okay i'm just going to go ahead now and stitch this onto the trouser stitch it all round but then i'm going to make use of double stitch just so my work is neat and looks like ready to wear trouser you get me 
so after it's done you can see this is what we have i've attached the pocketings for both sides and this is what it's looking like i also went ahead to weave the crotch just so it's neat and the next thing now will be to go ahead now and attach our zipper that is joining both parts of the front together so i have my zipper right here and i also have my materials i'm going to be using to create the flap i think that's what it's called good so yeah for this curved flap for the flap i just cut it out from that cut out we had initially when we were cutting out our trousers you can see how that fit perfectly right so that was where i drafted out the flap from so basically i just reduced the length and the width so basically my flap right here is measuring i think one and a half inches it's not up to two inches but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and place my flap like so right sides facing each other and i'll be sewing this by half of an inch so it's by half of an inch basically where you see me i'm draw that chalk i'll be sewing that down after i was done sewing it down this is what i have i went ahead to give it a top stitch and you can see how it slides flat the next thing will be to attach our zipper so to attach the zipper you ensure that the wrong side is facing you and the right side is sitting on the trouser so you try to ensure that the zipper is sitting straight like straight exactly on the flap and then i'm gonna make use of safety pin to just hold the zipper down to the flap alone you can see i'm lifting the flap up so that you don't make the mistake of holding it down to the entire piece that the whole trouser so and then you can see this is what we have i'm gonna go ahead and just stitch it down like so and the next thing now will be to attach the other side of the flap so to attach the other part turn it to the wrong side like so and then you just basically place the other flap onto this like so basically what you see me do so when you turn it to the right side you're going to go ahead and just lift this your other flap position and then stitch that the zipper down to the flap so i'm also going to go ahead and just pin it down with my safety pin and i'm just going to head over my, to my sewing machine and just stitch that down so after i was done stitching it down this is what i had this is what it was looking like see how it looks so neat and when it's um turned over like so you can see it just covers the zipper and it looks so cute so yeah the next thing will be to attach the other side of the front piece to the zipper so basically you just fold it by half of an inch but this so that i don't make a mistake i'm gonna make use of my chalk to just mark on the zipper where the other one extends to just so i have the waistline stays straight you get me so fold it by half inch inwards like so place it onto the zipper like so and then you stitch the pants or the crotch line rather onto the zipper just stitch it down from the top to the end of the zipper basically so i'm just holding it down also with safety pin and I'm just going to head over to my machine and sew it down. So after I was done sewing it down, this is what I have. The next thing will be to finish up the scratch that's basically join it completely. So you have to do that. You're going to go ahead and just notch that part that has the straight flap. Just notch the, remain, um, the remaining extensions there by half of an inch just so it stays flat and open. Then you turn it to the right side. I'm just pinning um the crotch down to the whole trouser just so it stays in place and doesn't wobble yeah and i'm going to go ahead now to sew my front crotch onto the not like back sha but to sew the crotch in the front flap onto the other one so yeah fold it in um half like so basically what you see me do fold it like so and then you're going to stitch it over the other one remember the other one has been notched too now it just stays flat basically what you're seeing and just stitch it over the other crotch just so you can complete the shoulder stitch it like so and you're going to be giving it a double stitch so you stitch it up to you've gotten to that um what i call it teeth of the zip or the beginning of the zip rather yeah so just stitch it and after i was done stitching it is what i have so yeah i know it's not um perfect but yeah this looks cute 
okay so now we're done with fixing our zipper next we need to go ahead and create that um structure that we normally have in our trousers i don't know what it's called sorry but yeah that double threadings are just kind of curves so yeah i'm basically just marking out the pattern that i want so i'm just gonna make use of this pattern and just just sewing it down so after it's done the next thing now will be to go ahead now and join our front and our back piece together so just sew them by half of an inch together after which you're going to be turning it to the right side and then top stitching giving it double stitch so after i was done joining it this is what i have and you can see i gave it a double stitch the next thing now will be to go ahead now and work on our pocketings so can you just take a moment to just see the inside finishing of this trouser it looks so cute so yeah, at this point you are free to attach as many pockets as you want as many this is your play zone just attach as many pockets as you want so for mine i attached two but the initial inspiration had only one so what i'm basically doing here is just i want to have like a straight base from where i'm going to start attaching my pockets so i just went ahead to measure from the ends of the pants just so i can just have like a straight line there and then start attaching my pockets from that part i hope that makes sense so now that i have a straight base i'm going to start attaching my pockets from that line so yeah like you see from the end result this pocket kind of has a cover i don't know if you get what i mean like that part that covers the pocket so and it's measuring two and a half inches in width and the pocket itself is measuring seven inches so I just place the three half inches at the midpoint that's where my trouser is joined and then marked seven inches so for our cover or the flap rather it's measuring two and a half inches but for the pocket it's going to be going in by one and a half inches just so the flap can cover it so joining my pocket is like so and marking two and a half inches there and going one inch above so from that one inch above that's where our pocket is going to start from and it's going to be measuring eight inches in length i'm going to go ahead now to join it together like so and join the top together also so this right that I've marked right here is the size of the actual pocket while the one I'm marking right now is going to be the size of the cover you get me good so now I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing to the bottom part just that I'm going to be giving a day starts like a space of three inches yeah and basically repeat the same thing that I did for this pocket that I've already um, drafted or drawn rather so just basically repeat the same step everything the same nothing changes so yeah after i was done this is what we have so the next thing we need to measure to know the amount of fabric we need so the actual pocket measures eight inches as you can see i'll be making use of nine inches and the width measures seven i'll be making use of eight good so i'm gonna go ahead and cut a fabric that measures seven inches sorry eight inches by nine and i'll be making use of four for both sides of the pocket good way for the flap the flap measures two and a half inches like so i'm also going to be cutting fabric for that so i have my fabrics right here four pieces and you can see i've weaved it just so it's neat the next thing will be to go ahead and attach our pockets onto our trousers basically in that marked position so it's easier when you've already marked it that way you just know where you want to fix it so yeah to make this easy to insert i'm gonna go ahead now and then just like hem the four corners of the fabric that i've cut out to serve as the pocketing that way it's easier to attach to the trouser for the cover i have my fabric right here which measures six and a half inches in length and for the width it measures eight inches because the initial width was seven right so i'm going to go ahead now and fold this in two so i have that part joined together just so i have this neat effect so i'll be sewing the edge together and then turning it inside out basically what you see here we have three different types that have three different things done already i'm going to go ahead and whip the top and that's where what i'm going to be using to serve as the cover placing it right there and sewing by half of an inch ensuring that it's half of an inch inside the marked point and then going ahead to give it a top stitch at the top so i've gone ahead to do, um attach two pockets to this side already you can see how neat it looks for the other side i've attached one i'm going to be showing you guys how i did that so i have my fabric right here that i've already 
hemmed already and I've already bent and you can see that I've already um, done one stitch already so this way it's easier so when I now place it onto the portion that I want to insert the pocket in I'm going to secure them with safety pin and then to create the second stitch which is that double stitch effect I'm going to go ahead and just stitch like the and like the tip of the pocket in all round and I'm going to go ahead and also attach the cover so ensuring that the cover stays half inches inside the initial point and just go ahead I'm going to pin this down yeah I'm going to go ahead and just sew it like so by half of an inch after which I'll turn it over and then just top stitch just so it looks like what we have at the top right there and after I was done inserting the pocket in this is what we I have like this looks so beautiful and neat the next now we just turn it to the wrong side and we're going to join the back crotch so to join the back crotch we're going to be first inserting our waist my waist measures 26 divided by 2 gives 13 inches I'm going to go ahead now and mark out 13 inches right there and I'm going to go ahead now to connect it to the bottom of the crotch I'm going to go ahead to just suit that line and just weave it and also top stitch just so my work is neat. So after I was done top stitching it, this is what I have. I've already sewn it. The next thing I will be to turn this to the wrong side and then just place it in a way that both legs are kind of sitting separately. And I'm going to go ahead now to just sew it together by half of an inch all round. After which I'm going to go ahead and hem the ends of the pants. And after I was done hemming the ends of the pants, this is what I have. You can see how this looks so neat. Like the next thing will be to attach our band. So yeah, this video is already too long, so I'm going to be posting a different video where I show you guys how to attach a band with hooks and also a belt um, holder. I think that's what it's called. So that's basically it for this video. This is what it was looking like after I was done attaching the band. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do not forget to like. Do not forget to subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. You can do also well comment if you found this video helpful. That way, it encourages me to put out more content. And regarding the tote bag and the bucket hats that I paired the trouser up with, I'm also going to be posting videos on the making of those. Thank you guys for watching once again. Bye bye, and see you in my next video.